So good everyone, I am here to discuss about adolescents and high school learners. So cognitive, cognitive development during adolescence. Adolescence is a time of rapid cognitive development, biological change in brain, structure and con- connectivity in the brain. It interacts with increased experience, knowledge, knowledge and changing social demands to produce rapid cognitive growth. So cognitive development during adolescence is um, pagbibinata ay isang panahon mabilis na pag-unlad ng pag-iisip. Mga pagbabagwa sa struktura ng utak, nakikipag-ugnayan ito sa mga karanasan, kalaman at pagbabago ng mga pangangailangan upang makabuo ng mabilis na pag-unlad ng pag-iisip. So next, perspective and advancement in adolescence thinking. There are two perspectives on adolescence thinking, the constructivist and formation processing. First, constructivist perspective, based on the work of BJ, takes a quantitative stage theory approach. This view hypothesizes that adolescence cognitive improvement is relatively sudden and drastic. So, constructivist is a perspective on learning focused on how people actively create or construct knowledge out of experience. Second is information processing perspective. It derives from the study of artificial intelligence and explains cognitive development in terms of growth of specific components of the overall process of thinking. Next, improvements in basic Basics, basic thinking uh, about this general occur in five areas during adolescence. The, the five areas are attention, memory, processing speed, organization, metacognition. So next, formal operational, the fourth stage of BJ cognitive development marks a movement from ab- an ability to think and reason from concrete visible events to an ability to think hypothetical, hypothetically and entertain what, what if possibilities about the world. An individual can solve problems through abstract, abstract concept and then utilize hypothetical and deductive reasoning. Adolescents use trial and error to solve problems and ability to systematically solve the problem in a logical and methodical ways emerge. So next, hypothetical and abstract thinking. One manifestation of adolescents increased facility with thinking about possibilities in the improvements of skills in deductive reasoning, also called top-down reasoning, which leads to develop of hypothetical thinking. This provides the ability to plan ahead, see the future consequences of the action, and provide alternative explanation of events. It is also makes adolescents more skilled debater, skilled debater, as they can reason against a friend's or parent's assumptions. Adolescents also develop a more sophisticated understanding of probability. So adolescence marks the beginning of development, more complex thinking processes. This time, it includes abstract thinking, the ability to form their own new ideas or questions. It can also include the ability to consider many points of view and compare or debate ideas or opinions. Adolescents' inability to distinguish between their perception of what 
others think about them and what people actually think in reality so egocentrism described the tendency for adolescents to have differing perception between what they believe others think about them and what other people actually think about them adolescents typically think others are more aware and attentive of their behavior and appearance than people actually are so next is a imaginary audience it is a term that you can use to describe the phenomenon that an adolescent anticipates the reaction of other people to him or herself and in the or or impending social situation I'll kind of argue that this kind of anticipation could be explained by the adolescent's preoccupation that, that others are as admiring or as critical of them as they are of themselves. As a result of a chance is created as the adolescent believes that they will be the focus of attention. Next is intuitive and analytic thinking. Intuitive thoughts is automatic and conscious and fast and it is more experiential and emotional. So intuitive thinking is means going with one's first instinct and reaching decision quickly based on automatic cognitive process. Next is the analytic thinking. In construct analytic thought is deliberate, conscious, and rational. While this system interact, they are distinct on 2013. So analytic thinking is the ability to tackle complicated issues by evaluating information you've gathered and organized. They are able to turn noise, data, and information into action. As critical thinkers, they help teams to inform decisions based on collective data and identified goals. So next is risk taking. Risk taking is the behavioral decision making theory processes. The adolescents and adults both both weigh the potential rewards and consequences of an action. However, research has shown that adolescents seem to give more weight to rewards, particularly social rewards, than to adults. Adolescents value social warmth and friendship and their hormones and brains are more attuned to those values than to the long-term consequences. So risk-taking is increased between childhood and adolescence as a result of change around the time the puberty in the brain and social-emotional system leading to increased rewarding seeking, especially in the presence of peers, fluid mainly by you a dramatic remod remodeling of the brains next is rel relativistic thinking adolescents are more likely to engage their relativistic thinking in other words they are more likely to question their assertions and less less likely to accept information as absolute truth through experience outside the family circle they learned the rules and they were taught as absolute or actually rel relativistic so relativistic is a, a belief that uh, reality and its cognition is real relative depending on the adapted perspective so next is language development language development continues during adolescence although at least accelerated rate that 
than for younger children due to their advance in cognitive communication social and emotional capacities there there is a risk that adolescents may be perceived as an adult without the the same abilities as adults there are wide difference between adolescents in the same group age group the rate of development is dependent on their early learning and being actively engaged in education up to the age of 14 or so adolescents may have many of the cognitive and linguistic capacities of the children in the middle year of 7 to 10 next is vocabulary and communication Teens essentially communicate as adults with increasing maturity throughout high school. They comprehend abstract and figurative language such as idioms, similes, and metaphors. The explanation may become more figurative and less literal. Teens should be able to grasp, grasp for word, meaning, and context, understand punctuation, and form complex syntactic structures how words are put together communication is more than the use of understanding of words though it is also includes how things think are of themselves their peers and authority figures as a thing seeks independence from their family and establish their own identity they begin thinking abstractly and become concerned with moral issues all, all of these shapes the way they think and communicate thank you for listening